That, I told you Justin yeah, Roiland. Yeah, yeah, you judged. Morty, it's okay to shoot them. You can shoot them, Morty. They're more about they're robots. <laughs> they're all robots, Morty. Welcome back. Slam. Power up platoon. We're making our way downtown, walking fast. <laughs> Faces past, and she's homebound. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get out of here. We're gonna go fight Mother Brain. Good idea. So there's I'm that gonna... one over up on the right side where we couldn't get the yeah, block. Yeah, we'll check. That, that's where the thing was. That's what you were talking about okay. earlier when you said there was that one other block that we couldn't right pass. So we'll hit. Let's go. Let's go, man. I don't even know where those things, how those things reproduce. Are they just like always there? They're like energy balls the, with faces. I, I, I don't know. And the reason I brought up the scan visor earlier when I was saying that I'd like them to make a 2.5 D Metroid is because I, so I could find out what that thing is. Because I, I have never seen it in Prime, I don't think. Or if I have, I, it looks completely different. It, it reminds me of those things in the first Zelda, like just those like little static balls that look with skeletons on, or skulls on them. They don't hurt you. They just, you can't draw your sword. I, I think things. I know the ones you're talking about. It's been a long ass time I, since I, I, I played Zelda 1. I think those are literally called bubbles. Really? If, if they like didn't the put too the... much effort into into names and <laughs> the like, original Zelda. What's, what's that? A snake? Nope, it's a rope. <laughs> what's that? <laughs> is that really? That's what it's, they're called. That's an ABGN. It's like, what's that? A snake? Rope. Ropes. Oh, what's this? A rock? Yeah. Huh. Yep, that's a rock. Oh. Octorox. Octorox. Yep. Is that, is that like Why a? Is that? Is that like a squid? Nope, it's an octorox. I feel like we're making good time. Is that just oh, my imagination? Oh, a bunch of blo or oh, bomb blocks. There we right go. There. Back to nice. back to point A, I guess. We'll head out of here. So let's get out of the section called Ridley. And we'll go. I I really miss. I remember what the name of the other one is. It's driving me crazy. Let's get out of here. You can see. We got there. everything else there though, right? I think. Yeah, that's Pretty it. Good. Looks clear. Except for the one gray block. But I'm, I'm not going for 100 percent or anything. There we go. See, Whoa. this opens up now. So that, through here. That looks very cool. Even if, even to make a game like this with like just like such detailed backgrounds. Oh what a. Oh this one. I remember this. Oh. Hold me, mom. Nothing quite. Um, yeah, I, I was just like, what would you, what's, what, what do you, engine do you think this was made on? I don't this even was a, know. This was the same engine as uh, Wario, Wario Land 4, I think. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I you, you, like you mentioned that, that earlier, yeah. yeah I, I, I totally believe that, I just, I don't know what it, what it is or what cool. it's called. Yeah, it seems the, good for, for 2D games. When they showed the beta for, I think it was either this one or Fusion, mm -hmm. it, it was just like, literally like, Samus looked like a, like a Stormtrooper. So like oh, check out this shortcut, you can make it all the way across. Oh. Nice, and this will take us right up to to where we want to go. Nice. Shit like this, man. Like you know, Metroid Prime Pinball. Well, no, no, that that too. But I was talking like, specifically about how they just the like. Game. This is a perfect remake. They cut out the pad and they added more good content. Like this is everything that a remake mm -hmm. should be. And you don't get. You actually have more like uh, invincibility hits done. Well, yeah, yeah, so I, I, that did bother me. Difficulty in the original Metroid is definitely a problem. Like, I was trying to play, like, on my 3DS, so I was trying to get through Yeah, I've got it, too. I, from, I just, I you got an ambassador's program, right? Yeah, good for but you. But I just, I just couldn't off. Oh, screw attack, not quite yet. We just couldn't do it because it was just too much. It's tricky. I've never beaten it either, I'm ashamed to say. Those hallways that are all the same with, like, the... It's like it's like a wave of, like, just pillars that you can only see. Hey, yes! yes! Oh, my favorite. I love this one, da -da 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 -da. man. Here we go. Now... This isn't the one I don't- no, you can't infinitely jump with this one, we get that later. Oh, that's the high jump, or yeah. the, uh, Or whatever it's called. What's it called? Oh, shoot, what's the name? It's like- it's like, uh... The super jump. Super... Jump man. I don't, I don't know. Imagine playing that- playing, uh, if Samus played that as, uh, with a screw attack, she just, like, destroys all the ladders and all the beings, and all come, like, halfway, like, oh, <laughs> crap! Never touch the screw attack. Flash! Alright, now... I don't know. Uh, let's try a hit. Oh, hey, would you look at that? I guess we just kind of. Well, we work our way back up to to wherever there's that. A, there's a whole long hallway below us. Yeah, let's check that out. We got super missiles. Wow. Nice. All right, so that's the green. That makes sense. Uh, oh, there's a little uh, fire. Sea horse fire sea horse. Heat's flame has been. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, don't no. forget. Don't forget his name. Don't ever forget. Don't forget. Third degree fry. Under on on the yeah. Well, I don't know. you want to talk about Undertale? Oh, I yes. love Undertale. We both played Undertale. Both. Yeah, it was one really of the, liked Undertale. It was something else. It was something else. I wrote my um. Uh, you you're very aware, but I did write my uh my argument paper. I talked about its effective rhetoric and how it deals with morality, which I probably bullshitted more than I should have. But I got a pretty good mark on it, so you know what? It, it, it's it's got some good themes too, good messages. Absolutely. Very very innovative gameplay. I can't deny. Oh. And for ten bucks, do it. Don't do even, it. Don't even wait for a sale. Just like do it. Toby Fox deserves that ten bucks. Like he's a cool guy and a game maker no less. Like 
And it's gotten me really interested in wanting to learn that too. Like that seems like a. a well, Game Maker's probably like a little simple, but I, I've heard it's a little on the simplistic side. However, I've had I've heard it's it's a uh, very it's, intuitive, it's intuitive to learn and and very accessible. So I, you know, I'd like to give it a try. It's really only good for like top down, like up down left right games or mm -hmm. like like, kind of like Zelda esque dungeon games. But like all the stuff you did, like the there was all all the characters are great. All the like the places were pretty good. All, the, all, the, all the secrets like it's structured so well too because you know it starts off. I don't, don't want to spoil anything for too, for too many people who haven't played it, but there's essentially three three main stages to the game, and they're all excellently spaced out. You get you spend a good amount of time in each one. Each one has uh, numerous songs, so you never really feel like you're you're spending too much time in one area. And cool. some of the songs even make certain areas better. Like you were just saying the other day, how Hot how Hotland is is like oh, exponentially delicious. improved by that killer song, Other Medium, which. If you haven't heard, go check it out. That's a great song. Or just listen to the whole soundtrack because it's killer. 101 and, uh, songs. 101, that's right. I think that's right. It's Something like that. that. There's also a thing where um, I want like all the little like variations depending on what you do or who you decide to off. Like, you know what I want to do? Hmm. I want to just kill Napskablook. Yeah. And then go on to fight Metaton and see like who calls him. That, yeah, that, that's incredible like, how- Apparently that it's implied that Napskablook is calling Yeah, yeah, for like, sure. I'm your biggest fan, like the best friends. And then he's like, oh, that I was like a show. And crazy. Then, so if you just killed him, like he's a ghost. What would I, like, yeah, what would happen? It'd just be like, how the hell am I supposed to? Or like, what if you kill like just just the monsters, but left all the bosses? Like, so like, let's take a call. No calls come in. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, hello. Nobody likes my show. <laughs> or like, you don't get any ratings. Like, how? I yeah, what would happen then? I don't know. That'd be interesting. Like I, all these little type. Unfortunately, I don't think the gameplay is fresh enough to warrant enough playthroughs to see every single possible outcome. But the fact that so many people can have different experiences with it at, on their first playthrough and like everyone can bring something to the table when they talk about Undertale, that's pretty cool. Like that's that's kind of its own multiplayer component almost. It was just like I have no idea how to reach the super missile. Do you? Uh, oh, wait for him to go past. Oh you, yeah, duh. And then, and then shoot him. You're right. Freeze him. Thank you. No problem. Get out of here. Almost. Uh, maybe. Uh, yeah, it's too... not gonna... I, I think I gotta jump him and then freeze him once he's maybe, in Maybe as soon as he gets out. It's like at the lowest possible. Just just stand there. Like... Oh, it's because the, the power is still Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh! oh. <laughs> Almost that. I can't get the power up. <laughs> That, that's what you were saying though, like hit him right before he mm -hmm. reaches the end. Nice. I think that might be that they do it. Oh, oh god damn it! I guess we gotta Can wait. I just I can't disable the screw attack! How the hell I wonder if we just have to wait for like the, the gravity drop or whatever it is? I don't think so. No, you get that after you uh leave Zeps. Oh. Yeah, so I don't know. And is it possible to backtrack to here? No, no, you're on a different planet when uh, when you okay. do the segment where you get the gravity that's, suit. That's weird then. I'm sure there's some way. Oh, that's a good idea. No, I can't. You can't do the straight jump if, and make enough distance. Just, what if you kind of just like make make him just a little bit farther, and then you just do a straight Look, jump? A little closer, you mean? Yeah. Okay. okay. And then straight jump onto him. That's right. Just normally, like that. And then you straight jump, straight yeah. jump once. Just just do a straight jump, and then just screw it. <gasps> oh no! Uh, wow. I think that was it, though. I think that'll that'll get it. Uh, maybe just a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh, and I think that's far. too far. What's, right. what's the farthest you can go? That's okay, that's like two like two enemies away. One screw attack. Ah. Oh, oh. One more. Oh, nice. That can work. That'll do it. do it. Nice. Dang. Good one. Fancy, Good thinking, fancy Kelly. Foot, fancy footwork. That was some fancy footwork. Now let's get out of here. Go fight Mommy Brain. Mother. Mother. One of the reasons Mother. I was thinking of, of buying a bicycle earlier was because uh, the main antagonist in that is your mom. So. Exactly. Yeah. There should be a con like a like a top five best and worst mom mom bosses in so, games. So we so we see Toriel on there is a good one. Tor yeah, that that Toriel's definitely good. that's totally. Mother brain's good. Mm -hmm. Um, mom from Isaac's or our, no, sorry, not Isaac's. That's a different one. But yeah, yeah. Um, are we talking about uh, like the character alone or just like how well they? Well, are I'm trying to think of of any mothers in video games. I don't. Do you do you think of any like good moms in games? The boss, maybe technically, she's a mom for and oh Snake yeah, well yeah, I, I, she's, she's technically a mom. To it goes also. deeper than that, in the words of Snake himself. Oh yeah, such a lust for revenge. <laughs> Where are we going? Oh, there's another uh, green one over oh, there. The one right, I'll there. check that out. We have to kind of clear everything and then it kind of moves us on. I don't. I, after, once I, the map, the map gets so filled up, you're like, okay, where yeah. am I supposed to go now? Yeah, and it's it kinda, pretty convoluted. Nor Norfair is one of the more uh, 
region's notorious for, for having a more complex design. How the hell do I get out of here, though? Is that an illusion below us? Can we just go? Oh, no. No, good. see, it's a, it's a dead end. It just comes to the end there, so I guess no. I have to go all the way left Oh, now. you have to go like a... Yeah. Oh, boy. What a pain. Uh, Mothers, I don't know if... I, I haven't played the game myself. I've, I've, honestly, I think I've only been spoiled for it, so I really don't know the premise all that much. Have you heard of the game Among the Sleep? Among the Sleep. Yeah. It's... so uh, It's... I don't can't even remember who the developer was. It's essentially you play as a toddler, and you uh, I think it's almost like amnesia in the sense that you're you're completely weaponless. It's kind of you know one of those horror walking simulators sort of. Among the sleep. I might, yeah, I might know it if I saw it, but I don't know. A anyway, I I don't really I don't, I don't care about spoiling it. Sorry guys. I think the premise is that you're you're ah! the whole game that you're. However, in the end of the game, it's revealed that it's <laughs> it's the one who's a <laughs> or something like that. It's actually Whoa. oh yeah, what a twist. Yeah, that and it, I, like I don't really know enough about the game to really say that's one of the best mother bosses in games, but it's one of the ones that came oh, to mind, I guess. This might be pushing it a little bit, maybe Glados from Portal Two, because or no, from the first Portal, because she's she's implied to be uh, uh, what's her name, Caroline. That is, yeah, but Caroline isn't anyone's mom, right? Well, it's or sorry, it, there's theories that she's um. Actually, Chell's mom. Really? That she had a, a baby with Cave Johnson, but they, they kind of like weren't supposed to. Yeah. Because like obviously they both kind of like each other. But then, well, like, yeah. I, and then that that song at the end of Portal Two, it's like Caramia, which basically means my my daughter, Sorry. my beautiful daughter. It's like what song? It's Caramia. Caramia, yeah. And like they're basically singing like my my my. That's what it translates to. It, it translates to basically my beautiful daughter run run far away from science. That's well, I, and she's basically singing that. Like, I was doubtful at first, but that sounds pretty, pretty convincing. Like that sounds like a pretty solid and theory. And of course, Valve leaves it kind of open to interpretation. But yeah, yeah. Again, it's not confirmed, so we don't know. They all love that interpretation. I got to say, you, you, you did beat Portal Two, yeah. Oh, you yeah. found the Borealis Easter egg. Yes. Yeah, one of my favorites in games. I think fantastic. that was a very neat one. <laughs> Confer confirmed. Black, uh, Black Mesa is not as good. All oh, these guys. I might Super just, missiles. I don't know. Super I'm missiles. I'm just running. I'm just running. <laughs> ah, nope. See ya. Whoa. Oh wow, we're in a room full of lava. Or just really hot smoke. Super hot. I... Down. It's taking a long ass... I, I thought we'd go straight to the area after Ridley, but we kind of have to go all the way through North Air again. It's kind of a pain. All the backtracking. I don't mind. Whoa. Fun. Hey. Oh yeah, you can finally oh, blow man, those guys up now. It's so hard when you can't jump on them. Mm -hmm. I'm amazed they took out the feature to disable and enable your power-ups. Like, why would they... <laughs> I guess, it, I guess it's just to keep on with the immersion. I guess like so. Make it easier. Oh. Let's take a quick respite here, and we will catch you guys next time on the next episode. Stay tuned. Of Power Up Platoon. Stay tuned.